Hi everyone, it's Joanna Bojarska, the beauty expert. I'm a professional beauty therapist with 13 years experience in the beauty industry. And on this channel here, I share with you all my beauty tips, advice in your professional and home skincare, as well as presenting you professional beauty treatments. So today's video might be a bit long, so I would suggest to pause it now, make yourself a drink, or grab a snack as today we are just about to dive in into my beauty products empties from the last few months. These videos are one of my favorites to watch here on YouTube as I think that once you actually use the product you can share your honest opinion about it and you can also tell if you will be willing to repurchase it. So a few months back I have decided to start collecting empty packaging after I use the product and I must admit it was quite an experience to see what I am using the most, how much I am using of it and which products bring good memories. In today's video, I will show you my empty beauty products. I will tell you a few words about each of them and I will also share with you if I will be willing to repurchase them. So we have makeup, we have body care, we have skincare. We have quite a lot to talk about. So I have tried to categorize them. So we have skincare here. Ooh, I have to be careful not to drop anything. We have body care here. We have hair care, also some makeup. So let's start with the body care. I will be just grabbing products and telling you a few words about each of them. Okay, so let's start with the dry shampoos. I have here two, one from Boots and then a from Colab. Uh, both of them, okay but nothing special. I think that's still the Batiste one. Uh, it's better than this one, but uh, my absolute favorite one is the Aveda dry shampoo. So I will be always repurchasing the Aveda one. Those ones were okay, but nothing special. Okay, let's move on. So now let's start with some shower gels. So I usually take a shower once a week, maybe twice a week I would have a bath. And I have a few of these products here, but they are mainly Polish brands. That's how it happened. So I have here my absolute favorite ones. Those are the bath oils from Bielenda. I really love them. I will be definitely repurchasing them. I already have some backup in my drawer. So yes, those are definitely worth trying. Okay, and then we have another one, Polish brand, a White Deer, a very popular Polish brand. Everyone used to have their bar soaps at home back in the days, but they recently, they came with some intimate um, beauty products as well as shower gels. And I really like it. It has gold milk inside, this shower gel. I really enjoyed using it. Uh, it doesn't smell... Um, too overwhelming, it's very subtle, it has a very subtle smell, so I really enjoyed using it. So those would be the shower gels. Okay, let's move on to the body balms. So I'm just grabbing them, I'm trying to grab them category by category. So I have here three to show you. Obviously the Aveda Sherry Almond. I love this body balm. It's a very light formula. It sinks into the skin beautifully, but it gives you hydration for very long, long hours. So I love this one. And then I also enjoy using um, the, uh, it's like, body balms which you use in the shower so you first your shower and then you put a layer of this balm and then you rinse it off uh, very quickly very quick method i really like it and this one is from nivea but actually i enjoy it and i've seen the uh, effects on my body the body was really my body was really smooth really moisture and really um, nourished so yeah i really enjoyed using this one and also it has this classic nivea body cream scent to it and then another one which i like to use and i use them for years those are the soraya uh, body diet um anti-cellulite and slimming body lotions. I'm laughing when I'm saying slimming because there is no body balm which could help you to lose weight, you know, but it definitely uh, helps because it has caffeine extract in it. So it helps to firm your body, keep it nice and lift it. So I really enjoy using this, um, this balms. There is a few of different ones in the lines, but I really enjoy most of them. 
Okay, so now let's move to the hand care. And I have two hand creams which I recently used here. And the first one is this Theo Marve Professional Money Therapy with a hydro fruit extract. And I love it because it smells amazing. It smells of tropical fruit, but it also gives you that nice moisture on your hands. And it's also available at my beauty studio. So if you would be interested, uh, let me know and you can purchase it at my beauty studio. Okay, and another one, which is another Polish brand, Jaya. Sorry, some of the packaging, I, I'm just cutting it because I like to use it um, all. So this one, uh, I, if you've seen my haul from the Polish drugstores, you might remember this one. This is a hand cream with goat's milk extract in it. I love it. This is my all time favorite. Uh, whenever I'm in Poland, I'm always purchasing it. It's very affordable. It's like two pounds maybe tops. Uh, so I really like this hand cream. It gives me nice moisture and scent. It reminds me of Poland and this brand. So yes, I really enjoy using it. The next one, Okay, when we are um, sort of talking about hands, I have to share with you a hand wash. I know, nothing special hand wash. Well, what can be so, um, you know, interesting in a hand wash? But I really love this, the White Company hand washes and um, hand and body lotions. And my favorite one is Mystique. And this is the watermelon, cucumber and basil. Oh, it smells amazing. But also... It's really long lasting, you know, I have my, my son, my clients, they will be using the hand soap, but it really lasts so long um, and then you can, you can buy it separately or you can buy it in a set. So yeah, the White Company hand wash is amazing and they are really long lasting. Okay, and next we have antiperspirants. So I know, I know most of you now will tell me like, oh, Joanna using antiperspirants with aluminium inside, this is terrible, you should be using natural ones. But I haven't found a natural deodorant or the antiperspirant which would um, really protect me from um, sweating. So yes, I need something heavy duty. So if you have any recommendations, please leave them in the description box below. I would really appreciate any recommendations. And my all time favorite two antiperspirants, I, also, I have only one here, is this Nivea Ultimate Protect. I love this one. It really keeps me um, fresh for long hours. And another one which I really like is the Vichy Roll-On with like a blue marine uh, top. I really like those two. And whenever I have a chance, I would also like alternate in between those two. So yes, if you have any natural alternatives for this one, please let me know. Okay, and now let's move to the teeth. So you have probably already heard about this one, the Spotlight Oral Care, um, the Teeth Whitening Strip, uh, One Hour Express. I went through multiple of this. I love them because they are easy to use. They do not uh, sensitize my gums or my teeth. So yes, really nice, uh, really gentle, but they do the job. And then the toothpaste, which I like to use, is that Spot Care Oral Care Whitening um, uh, toothpaste but I was also really impressed with that uh, Colgate Max White. I really enjoy it. I know again toothpaste boring but this Max White uh, expert it's really really good for the price, very affordable price. Okay, and what I've noticed when I was using my beauty products and I was going through them, I've noticed that I use a lot of hair products. So I showed you this um, dry shampoos, but I, I go through loads of beauty products. So um, first of all, let's, let me start with washing my hair. So I will just show you two examples. So I love Kerastase um, shampoos and Aveda shampoos. So I usually alternate between those two brands. I have here to show you um, the Architect one. I love it. Now I have ordered a new, I think it's a new line, a white line with silver 
letters it's the it gives you the volume and the body to your hair so let's see uh, they are on their way uh, to me now so Kara starts definitely when it comes to shampoos and then Aveda I'm sorry I'm sorry it's you have half of the packaging here I know it looks terrible but this is the Sap Moss shampoo I had the shampoo and conditioner the big uh, big versions of it I really enjoy it it's a quite thick shampoo but it really emulsifies nicely and it really cleans your uh, hair nicely smells amazing as well uh, so yes um, I really enjoyed using them as I told you I like to cut my packaging and get everything out of these bottles okay so we washed our hair then we have some uh, masks and uh, conditioners so I always use a conditioner on my hair or mask because you know it's it's blonde it's being treated so I uh, you need a proper care so what I'm using uh, what I was using actually I've used it up it's this uh, bio wax la biotica uh, bio wax mask and um, intense regeneration paraben and SLS free um, to be honest mm, it was okay but nothing special I had better okay the price is really affordable again but I enjoy more this Kerastase one or the Daviness oil conditioner. So yeah, there are much better options on the market than this one. This one is like average. And then I also have two mini samples of Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. So this is what I would put on damp hair after I wash them into my uh, into the ends of my hair. I really enjoy it. They go a very long way. You use only tiny little amount and you just massage it into your into the ends of your hair and just leave it in. Um, so yes, I really enjoyed those and I will be definitely repurchasing the full size of this Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. Okay, and then I also used up my uh, Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother. Uh, so this this shouldn't this is actually not designed to be used on the thin hair like mine because I have very fine hair but I really loved it to use it at the ends of my hair just to smooth those ends before I would straighten them or I would blow dry my hair it's really nice and it actually it's not that heavy so it doesn't you know make my hair really like heavy and being sort of uh, without the volume or the body so i really like this one so this is this is the aveda smooth infusion okay and then we are styling our hair so what are next two products i have i told you i have quite a lot of the hair products so i really like those um hair protectants like heat protectants so this is aveda speed of light so it's not only speeding up the process of blow drying but also protects your hair against high temperatures and I loved it I love this product I will be definitely repurchasing it it's very light it doesn't again it doesn't make my hair heavy or greasy or sticky really nice really nice product and then I have also recently tried this Tony and Guy heat protect heat protection mist and I really enjoyed it as well so both of them worth trying definitely will be repurchasing them uh, okay and then I have a, a food care so you probably heard me talking about it if you are watching my channel this is this um, nourishing and hydrating mask for your feet uh, not peeling masks yes I am against them because they can cause you loads of harm uh, I like those deep hydrating masks from Shaw I've used multiple of them and I really like them because they give me that moisture and hydration on my feet for a few days after not only on the day when I'm when I'm using them okay and then we're gonna move to the makeup because in makeup section i don't have a lot um, well obviously we had lockdown we had this all these things happening around us so we are wearing masks i am wearing masks visors at work so i'm not actually using much of makeup unless i'm filming for you like today so i would have full face of makeup so from the makeup perspective i haven't used as much so first of all what i have been using this 
this is this uh, makeup revolution conceal and define um, under eye um, concealers i really like them i am already i have already repurchased two of those so it's i usually use um the shades c uh, 6.5 or c 7 so those are my shades i really like them they are really giving you that full coverage underneath the eyes and i need the full coverage because as you can see i have quite dark um circles underneath my eyes no matter what i do this is my jeans so yes this is well, how it is but yes makeup revolution conceal and define i really like it this is like a dupe for the tarte shape tape yes and then what i have also used this eyeliner this is the eveline uh, cosmetics eyeliner this is polish brand i love this eyeliner i have when i have gone through like multiple of those and um, this is a perfect dupe for canva Kat Von D tattoo liner, a beautiful one, beautiful little, uh, and you can really do a precise line with it. I really love it. It's very easy to use. Don't sm it doesn't smudge. It stays with you for long hours. So yes, I really, really like it. And I have already repurchased a few of those just to have as a backup. Mm, and then I have also finished my Chanel Volume Additional Only Original Mascara. I love this mascara again I went through quite a few of those um, in the past and I will be definitely repurchasing it and now I have uh, Clinique high impact one on and I have it already on me now uh, so yeah Clinique or the Chanel are my two go-to mascaras usually and I have also finished my uh, benefit 24 hour brow setter love this product it really sets your uh, brow properly although I have my brows tattooed I still need a little bit of a definition there so I really like to put my hair into place with this using this this gel and then uh, two more products from uh, makeup as I told you there is not that many this is that peach perfect translucent mattifying powder love it it really mattifies together with Laura Mercier translucent loose powders those two are my go-to mattifying uh, finishing powders and then another um, love of mine this is the amazonian clay uh, 12 hour foundation from tarte i went through loads of them they always stick to my face really nicely they really stay with me long hours i don't have to worry about any like patches or any any smudges so i really love this foundation okay so that will be my body care hair care hand care, food care and makeup. And now let's move to the skincare. So when it comes to skincare, let's start from the cleansing, yeah? So I have finally used up my Aveda Purifying Gel Cleanser. It's 500 ml. Um, it lasted me for about six months. So yeah, it's a very long lasting product. As you know, it's my, one of my favorites. I will be definitely um, opening another packaging of it. And yes, I really enjoy using this gel. And then what else we have when it comes to cleansing? Um, no, that's the one. I also have used, this Savre, used up the Savre cleansing gel, but I've just dispose the bottle i forgot to put it in my drawer okay and then we have our toners so two toners which i have to show you today it's the hydrolat natural me uh, with bitter orange uh, flower extract i really like it i really enjoy using it i already have another one but i am using now the rose um, hydrolat so yes i would go either of this of those and then i have also used up my my Aveda Botanical Kinetics Tonic Mist. It's my go-to toner. I use it at my beauty studio as well uh, because it really refreshes the skin. It brings the, back the hydration to the skin. So it's a beautiful toner. It's in the spray as well. So very easy, very comfortable uh, to use. And now I will be going through the products, maybe not as you would use them in the skincare, uh, but I will try to keep the ca category after category, okay? So now we have some eye creams. Oh, let me just grab all the eye creams here 
So I have three eye creams, oh no, four eye cream eye products. Mm, so the eye cream which I have used is this Dermaque C Infusion Eye Cream. Really loved it. It really brightened up my eye area. It really smoothed the eye and the eye area and it really hydrated it. So I might be repurchasing another of this. And then another one is the Cos Nature Cream and this is the German brand and I got it because it was recommended by one of the YouTubers. I got it like four or five months ago. I used it twice and I know it really burned my under eye area. It was just too intense and I was really shocked because I use lots of beauty products like underneath my eyes but this one it was just too intense it wasn't giving me enough hydration it was just very irritating uh, for my around the eye area so yes I I've used it maybe two or three times and I just left it as as it was so it's going to the bin unfortunately and then one of my favorite products for the around the eye area is that Tulusara wedding mask eye you know I love this product this is a very thick formula it's been designed to use at night but I use it night and day in the day I only apply a little amount and just pat it around my eyes love this product it always gives me loads of moisture loads of hydration and brightens up this eye area Area. and I have also used up my Aveda uh, peptide uh, sorry Clarana I always mix those two brands I don't know why so the Clarana and uh, multi-peptides eye pearls love them I use them maybe two three times a week uh, sort of like a treatment around my eyes and I would just apply them around my eyes so one pearl for both eyes and then I would just massage them gently and just leave them on I use them mainly in the evening because they have that oily jelly consistency so I think they, they might be a bit too much uh, underneath the makeup so yeah these ones are really good and then uh, let's move on to the masks so when it comes to when it comes to the masks you know that I love those disposable ones I only have two here um, which I really like one is regenerating and hydrating and one is deeply hydrating with aloe vera so I love to alternate them when I whenever I go to pollen I buy I buy a bunch of them and then I will use them well, however I feel like if I, my skin needs a lifting or detoxifying or hydration so I will be opening one of those and I really like them from Vilenda, Perfecta, Jaya uh, yeah all of those brands are really good so I am really uh, using them all the time and then recently I have also repurchased this hydrogel under eye masks from e.l.f. this was like in patches uh, form and you have three in these packages like three sets and I really enjoy them they really give me that hydration underneath the eyes and they are really nice and soothing for the eye area so it's really affordable price as well so yeah really nice product to try together with my Clarena eye patches I think those two really good really good product and then we have some face masks so uh, the mask which I have actually used up uh, recently I have this origin string up 10 minutes uh, 10 minutes to quench skins first so um, this is old packaging even I got it at the Estee Lauder headquarters um, but now they have different packaging really nice masks uh, mask uh, I mainly use it not for my face but for my neck and the colette area I really enjoyed using it I can straight away feel this uh, hydration and the smoothness uh, on the on the skin so yes yeah, really really good uh, mask as well from origins and then one of my favorite favorite mask is this Clarina snail gel mask also available at my beauty studio I am using it during the treatments but you can also purchase it and using it at home a uh, snail mucin very popular active ingredient in a Korean um, skincare beautiful soothing uh, anti-aging effect hydration beautiful mask I love it I love the smell of it and yes I will be definitely repurchasing more and more of these masks okay and then one more mask which I have used this is this crystal clear skincare 10 minute glow it's like a peel off mask not a big fan 
not a big fan it smells uh, of alcohol uh, and yeah it i haven't really seen any glow after using this so yes it's it's okay it gave me that hydration and smoothness to the skin but i've I've seen better things. I have an only little mini sample, but I wasn't as much impressed as I am with the other ones. So yes, I don't think I will be repurchasing this one. Uh, okay, and now let's move on to the um, exfoliation. So from exfoliation, I also have some, um, I usually use some enzyme peelings, but what I have used recently is that Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensing exfoliating treatment Hollywood's two-minute facial loved it it's quite intense I have a little sample here it's quite an intense treatment so you put it on your skin and straight away you feel the power of this mask that's why it says only two minutes and then you rinse it off and your skin is really plumped smooth and ready for all those, all those active ingredients which you will be layering on top of your skin after this. So beautiful product. I will definitely be repurchasing the full size of it. It's perfect for people who are on the go. They need a quick exfoliation, a quick um, restora restoration to your skin. Beautiful, beautiful product. I will be definitely repurchasing a full size of it. Um, okay, and then my creams let's go with the creams now oh no one more for the um cleansing from cleansing this is this lme's pro collagen cleansing balm again small packaging loved it i loved it i already repurchased the full size of it beautiful whenever you have a full face of makeup as i have today like you know mattifying lipstick or uh, the waterproof waterproof eyeliner or fake lashes loved it it will melt everything effortlessly and you don't have to rub it into your skin plus the smell is amazing so it's a beautiful experience altogether so this is the LMS one uh, and then what else I have uh, from the creams yeah lots of oh one more eye product I'm sorry I forgot about this eye product so I have also used the Shiseido uh, Benefiance wrinkle resist 24 hour uh, really good product really good cream it really um, nourished and moisturized my around the eye area it didn't irritated it so yes beautiful beautiful cream for the around the eye area sorry i forgot about that one so now the creams yes so the creams which uh, the two two competitors so we have here uh, lme's pro collagen marine cream uh, my all-time favorite and now uh, we have my new favorite natural collagen nourishing day cream from savre so i used to love this cream um, because obviously this is the collagen the only one a collagen which worked for me I've seen the difference um, and then I started to use Savre products and since I started to use Savre products I must say this one is giving me better hydration to the skin than this one although this one smells better because the Savre products are unscented they don't have much of smell because obviously they have been created for the sensitive skin um, so yes uh, but I love both of them LMEs definitely if I wouldn't discover the Savre products I will be definitely repurchasing the LMEs Pro Collagen Marine Cream that was my go-to moisturizer for long long years but now I have my new favorite and this is the Savre Natural Collagen beautiful cream Cream. Uh, to begin with I was a little bit um, worried about the uh, formula because it was it had quite a it has quite a thick consistency but it sinks into the skin beautifully and together with my platinum collagen serum oh, amazing it really works for my skin it really smooths um, my skin so yeah I really love in I really enjoy uh, using those two together so those are my uh, morning moisturizers and then uh, when it comes to evening uh, moisturizers I use different products in the evening so I usually use quite something more heavy like an overnight facial and my 
absolute favorite overnight facial is this Sarah Chapman Skinesis Overnight Facial. I have already repurchased it. This is like my fourth bottle. I love it for the smell, for the ingredients and for what it does to my skin. I can truly see the difference in the morning when I'm using it. And this one together with Tulsara Wedding Overnight Mask to these two products I are definitely go-to products when it comes to the night skincare. Uh, this one has turmeric extract, it has really brightening and nourishing purposes to it. It smells very natural uh, because it's obviously an organic uh, product and yeah, beautiful, both of them I love and I will be definitely repurchasing more of this. Um, then another products which I really like to use in the evening as well uh, are my either serums or pearls or oils. So again, another one, of them, the, like I'm using them two days a week are my Clarina Gold Pearls with EGF Complex. As you can see, I've used all of them. It's 30 in the, in the jar and I'm using them maybe twice a week and I'm just massaging it into my skin. I usually use them in a conjunctions with the in conjunction with this little eye um, pearls. So I would use one pearl for around the eye and then one for my face. If I want to go on my neck and my decollete area, I would use two uh, two pearls. So yes, pearls are definitely in my skincare routine. And then when it comes to them. Uh, Ah, one more cream which I used to use mainly in the evening is that uh, V10 uh, Sun by Me uh, Vitamin uh, Tone Up Cream. To be honest, uh, not for my face because it was too heavy, it was breaking me out, but uh, for my neck and the collateral area, beautiful cream. It really um, brightens up the skin and it really evens out the tone of the skin. But for my face, it was a little bit too much and I could see that I'm breaking up after using this on my face. Um, okay, and then oh, one more cream as well, a little one. This is the Murat uh, Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. Um, good cream, really good cream, but I still prefer my Dermaquest Retexture Serum. Uh, so this one is with retinol as well. I, re I really enjoyed using it, but as I said, I, I think I prefer my Dermaquest Retexture Serum, if I have to, if I'm honest. Okay, so uh, when it comes to the serum, so I already start with this Dermaquest Retexture Serum. Love this. This is a perfect combo of retinol and glycolic acid. I use it two maybe three times a week in the evening my skin is smooth my skin is clear it doesn't break out obviously I will have a occasional breakouts but beautiful it keeps my pores clean so yes I really love this product and then another few serums which I love to use in the evening would be obviously my evening or morning that will be my uh, platinum collagen from the Savre. So as I told you, I'm using it together with my cream. Uh, really love this product. It's a natural collagen um, and yeah, really gives me amazing effects of smoothness and anti-aging on my skin. And then I have also used up my Kate Somerville Dermaquench Wrinkle Warrior, little, little thing as well. I don't know if there is anything to, oh no, there is nothing in it. It, it has a very nice uh, form of how you put it on your skin. And this is a very nice, deeply hydrating serum for your skin. Love it. I would be definitely repurchasing a full size of it because it really gave me a beautiful hydration to the skin. Um, and another few products which I am actually using as well and I really enjoy. This is this Clarina Snail Mucin Elixir. Love this product. Again, together with this mask, Oh, amazing all oh, this the whole line is great it's really soothing hydrating anti-aging for the skin so I will be definitely repurchasing another one of this and then another serum which I have just finished is this Aveda Tulusara brightening serum love it uh, it has a very gentle and light, light formula it's very gentle on the skin but it gives you that nice even skin tone 
So absolutely amazing product. Plus, if you like natural products, it's 97% naturally derived. So yes, only only good active ingredients inside. Um, and then one product which I used up and I'm already on the second packaging, it's the uh, Revite Lash uh, Eyelash Conditioner love this product i also have it at my beauty studio for my clients so they can buy it i trust this brand it really gives me beautiful effects i don't have any side effects between using it so i'm on my fourth fourth bottle uh, so yes i love a uh, revite lash yes the eyelash conditioner great great beautiful product and let's finish off by SPF. The last but not least, SPF, really important. I used it all year long. Um, so the ones which I enjoy the most is obviously this Dermaquest Sheer Zinc SPF 30 Mineral SPF. I love it. It has light formula. It doesn't leave any white cast on my skin. So I enjoy using it. I think the words love and enjoy and amazing will be the main words which I'm using here in this in this video. Mm, so yes, and another one SPF I really enjoy was this Aveda Daily Light Guard. Again, SPF 30. This one has a little bit thicker consistency. I mean, the consistency is quite watery, but it's a bit thicker feel on your skin and you have to work it into your skin a bit longer than the Dermaquest, but equally very good SPF to use on your face and during the summer or winter or whenever season uh, SPF is great and you should be using it all year long every day. Okay so this will be my empty beauty products which I have managed to use in the last few months. I know it might seem like a lot of products but remember I am a beauty therapist and I love to try and test new beauty products all the time. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting and if you did please give it some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I try to upload new videos on a regular basis. Also, please do share your beauty recommendations with me as well. The products which you are constantly repurchasing and you're enjoying using them as I love to be inspired by your beauty recommendations. And now I wish you all a beautiful day and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!